Hey R2 Builders, this is the inside of my dome and this is how I secured my PSIs to the inside of the dome. I used captive studs which are right here. As you can see I've got metal tabs that I made out of sheet metal. I put a nice long slit on the side of it, put a hole right there that way I could put the captive stud through and I did that on each side. I used some lock nuts right here and just some regular screws right here that go onto the inside. I drilled holes through the PVC which is right here that goes through and I just basically I capped it down. These on the side enabled me to move it up and down to give it good grip on where I need it to and I would just tighten the sides down. This right here is my front hollow projector and I've got it secured on the inside plate there is a piece of metal that I have right here as you can see and I have got captive studs going through those in certain spots and then on the ends. I made this plate right here. The top layer is out of some acrylic sheeting and then the bottom is a little bit of a sheet metal as well. Cut a hole into it and I've got a plastic ring around here that I made that holds the hollow projector into place. I screwed that down and this is strictly for the servo mounting. If I didn't have a servo mount on here, I would not need that whole plate. What you can do, if you do have one without a servo, I've got two ways of doing this. The first way I did right here, as you can see, same type of tab I made and I just screwed them down. These were a little bit harder to get in. I'm not too much of a fan of these. So on another one, I made a better way of doing it, which is right here. Here is the mount for the other hollow projector. As you can see, it's an entire plate that goes around the whole thing. It's held in by the captive studs, which are right there. It's just a metal plate that I cut up. I put a hole in the center of it to hold this, which holds a curious mark hollow boards. Right here you can see on this one since it's not covered how that exactly works. This just comes in and out and I hold it down with tape. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed looking at how I mounted all my hardware into my R2D2 dome. As always, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like.